Okay, so this is a little video about switches, interpolating switches, and now the new feature of nested interpolation. So here we have a file in which this character talks. My city is drowning in crime. Now you notice how the lips jump. Notice how the lips jump from one mouth position to another. Corresponding, you will see them over here switching visibility. Oh, that's a switch layer because they switch from one to another. Now, if you go into the properties and turn the switch to interpolate sublayers, my city is drowning in crime. My city is drowning in crime. So, and now you will see that between the actual switches, they interpolate or tween so that between this frame and this frame, they now magically move. And what they're doing is interpolating or tweening between this layer, Grimace, and this layer, AI. Because all these mouth positions are on different layers, as you see the phonemes here. Now this is called interpolation, and the only way it can be achieved is if all the layers here have exactly the same points. If I uh, show you the points, you'll see them here, how they're all the same but in different positions. If you add another point in, it breaks and it becomes a regular hard cut switch. So, uh, until Moho 12.4, you could only do this within single layers inside the switch group. If you put this inside a group, it doesn't work anymore. So this was a problem because often you want to make a mask instead of this rather complicated situation you have here with the tongue and the teeth. Are inside and then there's a great big fleshy muzzle that um, covers the whole lot. So this is how you could do it before. It was uh, kind of, it worked nicely but it was kind of clumsy really and um, there was a lot of points and a lot of management. So interpolation within groups that are masked or nested interpolation like this one here where you have the lips a simple shape which mask the tongue and the teeth in separate layers but of course you could not do this when they were in a group now in Moho 12.4 I'll just show you, this is how it would look before. I'll pick up a nice big, this one would go from here to here to here. Now, if I put interpolation on, now we have it working and even though they are separate layers inside a group we have interpolation it's a real breakthrough and it's really great and um, uh, thanks to the Moho team for that um, so now you know what it is